Well, folks, we've made it to Horn in the West in Boone, North Carolina. This outdoor drama has been going for over 60 years. It brings people from all over the country, and oh my gosh, what a wonderful treat we're in store for. Horn in the West is, is basically about the founding of this area. Not necessarily just a boom, but uh, this whole high country area during the Revolutionary War years. Uh, it actually opens with the Battle of Alamance and closes at the Battle of Kings Mountain and, and covers the lives of people who came to the mountains after the Battle of Alamance basically to get away from what all was going on down there. This is a timeless story. It's a story for all ages. It's something that everybody needs to see. Let me ask you a question, Billy. You, since this has been so much a part of your life, yeah. it seems to me like that you're literally identified with it, right? By accident, I guess, that, yeah. but it's true. Even the years, uh, some of the years I wasn't directly involved and just came out and volunteered, people would call me to know what's going on or, why did they do this? Or why did they change the script they're calling me? And, right. uh, and I don't mind that because I fell in love with the place. As I said as a child, Sure. started working here when I was 15 years old. Uh, when I went out into the world and became a teacher, I taught in Davie County for a while and still came back here every summer. Uh, met my wife here, my children grew up here. Uh, my, t my, my two daughters are both teachers, but they come back here every summer. <laughs> and, it's, uh, it's a family yeah. tradition, it sounds like. It, it really is. Yeah. I mean, uh, cousins and uncles and grandparents always involved from the very beginning. It's, it's, it's just, it's something we love. We do it because we love it. The Hickory Ridge Living History Museum provides the perfect setting for those attending a Horn in the West performance, as well as those who visit throughout the year. It's a delightful presentation of our past. It's an opportunity to experience the reality of frontier life. Everything was made by hand, from clothing, furniture, and the home you lived in. Someone had to hunt, harvest, and then cook the food without the convenience of our modern kitchens of today. It includes some characters who are truly historical, but in order to be able to tell a story in the way that we can identify with it, it uses a fictitious family. Everything that happens to this family happens to someone in this, in this area. How many people does it take Right now we have uh, uh, a little over 40 people uh, involved backstage. That's the, that's the actors, the singers, the dancers, the technicians, the stage manager, the choreographer, uh, the, the music director, which I volunteered to do this year. But uh, our management staff is, is down to only two or three people right now, which is not enough. A house staff of about 12 people that kind of rotate that help make sure the audience gets in and out safely, that they're served, uh, keep watch over things, try to make sure that the, all the facilities are in good shape, uh, and, uh, and and several in the, in the box office staff. To, to, so in all, it takes around 60 people? That's so. about right. And yeah. we have had as many as 90 to 100 in right. some years, but uh, but we're we're trying to do the best we can right, right now and, and, uh, and to get ourselves positioned for for other years to come. 
my, my love of history, my love of music, I, all I ever want to do is share that with people. I was blessed to get to do that. And now you help other people do it. I try. Do my best. <laughs> There's a story behind the story. This story is in itself very entertaining, but it also talks about how p many people from extremely diverse backgrounds, and diversity meant something back then as well as it does now, even though it, it may have evolved in one way or the other, but people who disagreed, people who came from, from different countries, from different religions, they all ended up finding common ground and finding something that was important enough for all of them to get together and to, to, to work and even fight to protect and to defend. And that's never, that's not just 200 years ago. That's, that's yesterday, right. that's tomorrow. And it's, it's something we all have to learn. years, Horn in the West has entertained attendees with a glimpse into the past, a time when our nation was taking form, a time when hope, fear, joy, pain, and suffering were all ever present. <laughs>